So first see, what are the layers in the bowel? So there are four layers. So the layers are, you can see, this is mucosa, this is submucosa, this is muscularis propria in which there is inner circular and outer longitudinal layer. So this is muscularis propria and here this is serosa, right? We discussed that Crohn's disease is transmural. Transmural means it is going to involve all the three layers. So transmural, it means it's going to involve all the three layers. So it's going to involve what? Mucosa, submucosa and muscularis propria. All the three layers are involved. So it is transmural. Now see, this kind of involvement is there. So in between the affected or diseased bowel, in between the segments of diseased bowel, there are healthy areas also. So these are normal, normal areas. It means there are skip lesions. So there are normal areas of bowel and there are diseased areas. So important points. First, it is transmural. Okay, all the three layers are involved. Second, what is the earliest gross pathological lesion? Earliest gross pathological lesion is superficial aftersulceration. So what happens? These patients have superficial aftersulceration. Superficial aftersulceration. So here you can see there is superficial after ulceration in mucosa. This is the earliest gross pathological lesion. So there are involved areas, there are normal areas. So what happens? It is associated with skip lesions. So what? Presence of normal mucosa in between, normal bowel in between. So there are skip lesions. Now see, this is the normal colon, normal colon. And here you can see the mesentery and the fat in the mesentery that is of yellow color and if you see Crohn's disease can you see here there is circumferential growth circumferential growth of mesentric fat around the bowel and this is known as what creeping fat so in this picture you can see can you see here there is circumferential growth of mesentric fat around the bowel so this is creeping fat one of the characteristic feature of Crohn's disease circumferential growth of mesentric fat around the bowel. Now another problem in Crohn's disease is that there is ulcer and there is perforation. So see the problem. Suppose this is the bowel and this is the another part of bowel. Clear? And whenever there is ulceration and perforation, what will happen? There is formation of fistula in between. Can you see? So here there is formation of fistula in between two parts of bowel. And this is what kind of fistula? It is internal fistula this is also a small intestine and this is also a small intestine so what kind of fistula is this this is entero enteric fistula so what kind of fistula entero enteric so first you can see because of ulcer there can be perforation and because of this perforation there can be fistula formation fistula so what kind of fistula you can see in Crohn's disease, there is enteroenteric, enterocutaneous, and enterovesical fistula. Enteroenteric, enterocutaneous, and enterovesical fistula. Okay. Now see, whenever we perform laparotomy, sometimes at the site of laparotomy, what happens? Yes, there is bowel loop, clear. And suppose there is ulceration and perforation, what happens? There is formation of enterocutaneous fistula. So this is enterocutaneous fistula. Now see, we discussed that the most common site of Crohn's disease is ileum or ileocecal region, clear? And here you can see this is the bladder, this is the prostate and this is the urethra. What is the most common site of perforation that is also ileum? So imagine here is the perforation and there is involvement of bladder. So what kind of fistula is this? Can you see? There is communication between small intestine and bladder. So this is enterovesical fistula, enterovesical fistula and specifically speaking, what kind of ileovesical. So third fistula is enterovesical fistula. Now, in general, there are two questions which are frequently asked. 
वन इज कोलो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला विच वी डिस्कस्ड इन कोलोनिक डायवर्टिकुला एंड वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ कोलो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला वर्ल्ड वाइड इट इज बिटवीन सिगमॉइड कोलोन एंड ब्लैडर डाइवर्टिकुलाइटिस सिमिलरली फॉर एंटेरो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला ऑल्सो वॉट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज डाइवर्टिकुलाइटिस सो टू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट इन क्रॉन्स डिजीज देयर इज एंटेरो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला बट द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ एंटेरो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला एंड कोलो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला ओवरऑल द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ एंटेरो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला एंड कोलो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला इट इज डाइवर्टिकुलाइटिस दिस इज डाइवर्टिकुलाइटिस एंड इन कोलोनिक डाइवर्टिकुला एंटेरो वेसाइकल एंड कोलो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला विच वन इज मोर कॉमन सो दिस वन इज मोर कॉमन एज कंपेयर टू एंटेरो वेसाइकल नाउ कमिंग बैक टू क्रॉन्स डिजीज सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फिस्टुला एंटेरो एंटेरिक एंटेरो क्यूटेनियस एंड एंटेरो वेसाइकल फिस्टुला सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज ऑफ अल्सरेशन देर इज फाइब्रोसिस क्लियर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फाइब्रोसिस देर इज स्ट्रिक्चर फॉर्मेशन देर इज स्ट्रिक्चर फॉर्मेशन and because of this chronic inflammation fibrosis the bowel wall is thick firm rubbery and almost incompressible see how it looks grossly so in this you can see this is the involved part of bowel clear so this is affected part and here you can see this is the normal part so these are the skip lesions and if you see the bowel wall can you see it's thick firm rubbery and almost incompressible so bowel becomes thick it's firm it's rubbery and almost incompressible almost incompressible another thing here you can notice that linear ulcers are going to collide and it is going to form the transverse ulcers and what else you can notice that there is normal mucosa in between so there is involvement of the bowel with normal mucosa in between and linear ulcers are going to collide to form the transverse ulcer so this kind of appearance is known as cobblestone appearance so here you can see how this cobblestone appearance looks like clear so all these are pathological changes which are very very important and frequently asked in exams